Hello, my fellow griefers and trolls. Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT here. And Bikos, welcome back to Sea of Thieves. Where we will be doing with my buddy Vault, the art of a trickster tall tale. Hey. He's done it. I have not. I have no idea what to expect. Hey, there's my contact lens I dropped. Didn't what? That coral. I dropped the contact lens years ago, and I just now found it. It's on that coral. Oh, you were making a joke. <laughs> I was yes, confused. I never been. I was never been this deep. Fuck, my English just broke. I have never been that deep on a ship. <laughs> yeah, I know how the Flying Dutchman feels. Right? Thunder Valley. So a friend of mine, I he was wondering what um, we were talking about the Flying Dutchman the other night, and he he always assumed that the Kraken was speak to Salty. Bro, I've seen that. So Near the salty. eastern shipwreck on Thunder Valley. Well, this is the eastern shipwreck. Yeah, because we're on the east, though. Alright, finish raising the rest of the sail. Alright. I failed that sword lunge so hard, it's not even funny. It was to me. I'm going to shoot you. You can try, but it won't work. I think I heard him. Oh, here he is. Hello, Salty. <laughs> Bones aren't exactly aerodynamic. <laughs> Um, you, you have to be over here with me for it to start. Volt. Ah, time for my afternoon rest. I'm coming. Come on, come on. Polly want a conversation. Come back anytime. Spark! Polly got a bargain. Polly got a bargain. Grade A traps for treasure and tombs. Spark! Fully guaranteed. Uh, what's the use? No one wants to buy from a talking parrot. Looks like it's back to the stale bird seed for me. Truth be told, no one's seen the trap maker in ages. I did find these notes she left behind, though. Seems to me she was put to work designing traps for old Briggsy herself. Looks like she left a trail to follow that leads all the way to Briggsy's stash. Maybe you can use them to track Give me one second. Just watch your step. This bird is one of the most a, annoying a voices I've ever heard in a video game. Um... Maybe come tell your old mate Salty if you find her, yeah? Not that it's partly his fault she was kidnapped or anything, you understand, but... Spock! Spock! Bye for now! How did I miss that shot? <clears throat> Right, where are we headed? I uh, can't 
see shit. Uh, I need to get closer to the TV. The famed teller of stories, now herself tangled in a tale of woe through my art. I'll take my revenge. I'll carve my treachery with wood and harden my hate into iron as I build a cage for her shining stone. The stone has pieced too many hearts and stained souls with greed, so why do you seek it? If only you could see these seas as I do. Perhaps now only rum can open your eyes to the truth and show you the path forwards. Seek the Cave of Bones on Plunder Valley. Deep it lies, never bur near bird of stone. Stories told in lifeless bone. The forsaken captain points to fire and ash, hand in hand, Two lovers face their destiny. The rum runner laid her drink to rest. The thief hides behind her mask of gold. Actually, let's just leave it. Let's just let him go to the ferry. Money! Yes! Alright. I'm gonna switch out my gun. Where is my gun? Get the old one-two punch out. Now then. All right. Nice. So we're looking for a cave of bones. So here's a cave. Um, okay, what am I missing here?
There we go. Okay. Actually, let's just let the skeleton kill us. It'll be an easy way on the ship. There we go. <laughs> Vault. Welcome back. I am dead. Uh, yeah. The minute you went AFK, Phantom spawned. And I mean, I tried to keep you alive, eventually they killed you, so I just decided... No, that's all good. Yeah, I just decided to let you die. Okay, we are headed to Discovery Ridge. Which is right next to us. Which direction? Um... Southwest, basically. It's gonna be a big island to our right. I'd assume it's that big island. It's been alright. Well, I got some dinner down my gullet. Ah, that's where you did it disappear too. On the fourth, um, we had two. Co we had a couple of scares. The fireworks went defunct and blew up right on the ground when they should have been up in the air. Wow. Oh, by the way, this is the this is the new gun. <clears throat> oh. You can shoot it once or double shot. Yeah, it's a, it's a mini sawed off. Essentially, yes. Hey, there's a robo. Raise the sail. 
Well, part wherever and however you desire, sir. Even if it makes you look like a drunken clown. So what are we doing here? Deck and helm where I once stood, by stone now turn <coughs> to drifting wood. We gotta go to <coughs> Deprec over there. You want to know something I've noticed by uh, grinding from grinding Athena's over in the Devil's Roar? Hmm. There are no snakes and pigs and just any wildlife to speak of on that island. On those islands. Fishing's good though. All right. So deck and helm are once I stood by stone now turning to drifting wood. I broke my leg! Bird's eye view of the island is what this is. Okay. Use. Shouldn't it be right here? Unless it means oh, stay oh, where I you can you. see it. No, I think I understand. We need to stand somewhere and do what it says, because it says, Sell the Discovery Ridge, seek my treacherous mark, stand in place, and drink in the drink in the view. So we have to drink. We need to find a specific mark, and then stand there and drink. So I think it has something to do with the shipwreck. But uh, the mark in question is whatever this mark is on the map in the top left corner. I just died. Okay, so according to the guide, it says that we are looking for, um, look for a couple pieces of wood near a rock. 
Hardly the sort of landmark you might readily notice. Okay, that's vague as fuck. Found it. You did? Stand where the mark shall be. So I think we just drink, right? Hold on. You okay up there? Yep. Deck in hand from whence I stood. You brought friends. It says drink in the view, meaning enjoy the view. There's also one down there. There's a sign down there too. Deck and Helm were once I stood, by stone now turning to drifting wood. I see it. I think this is it down here. But I'm confused as to what we need to do. Okay, essentially, the spyglass needs you to match up the location where the eyes are. And the okay. X that's below, yeah, the X that's uh, where below the where the mouth is. You need to match that up. So what? Basically, you just match it up. The eyes, the eyes need to hold the thing that makes that marks the location, and the X reveals where you need to dig. There's not much else to it. Well, I, I don't quite understand what I'm supposed to match up. Okay. The eyes. The eyes, if there's a, when you stand in the location where it tells you to stand, you match up the eyes. If there's anything nearby that matches the, like, two that are close enough for it to match up. Hmm. 
Well, also, the book is supposed to give us the clue. But this clue is so arbitrarily placed, you wouldn't know where on the island to look. No, I hate their riddles in this game. No, I hate their pic- they're, they're trying to pictograph it. Their, their fucking pictures are terrible. Not only that, but also they display the island only in one direction, and you can't change the way the map looks, so you can't identify which direction it's facing. That's why I look up guides. I found another one. I found another location. Alright, I'm coming to you. Found it. Nice. Now what? Let's see. Do 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 do. Traps and treasure. I craft the first part of the deal, and she provides the rest. The stone you seek leads only to broken bones and crushing ruin. Far, fair from. Fair warning given. Very well there. Here it is. Through roughly plains I stumble and tread. Through rum and greed I lost my head. I have literally no idea what that's supposed to mean. Well, I just- I was just about to grab you, but you respawned. Yeah, I went to the ferry. Yeah, I was right there, you didn't have to. I didn't know that, I thought you were far away. That's why you look before you do. I can't look when I'm only looking at my body. Yeah, I know, I was standing right there. I did not see you anywhere on my screen. Alright, so this next one... I think it's this one now. <clears throat> Actually, it's located near the other one. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be over here somewhere. The problem is that it's... Almost dark and we see. can't see shit. No, it's actually turning day. Oh. Well, I have a general idea of what the area looks like because of my guide that I'm using, but...
This is where I originally found it. Should be close by. Right. Um... Might be further up. Okay, hold on. I think I found it. Yep, found another one. Yep, this is the spot. This is the spot that I got on my guide. What are we lining up? Let's see. It looks like... Yep, or about right there, yeah. Alright, now what? Plundered supplies help my plight. Friends of get the fuck out of my face. Plundered supplies help my plight. Friends of the sea fill my sight. Does that mean it's near the ocean? I think it's this one now. Uh, what one? Hold on. Well, it'd be that one that's at the base of the of the mountain, wouldn't it? Maybe the actually, of the sea. yeah. Now that you mention it, maybe. I think I think I figured it out. Maybe. Yeah, that's where this one was located. Wasn't the X in here somewhere? Near these big ass rocks, maybe? over here where I thought it was. Well, it's not that far away from where the last position was, which is where I'm at. Hmm. Looks like it's on top of a rock somewhere. In near, in or near the canyon. Looking at the guide. I love how many guides exist for this game, because this game, I would be stuck doing shit for hours. Without it, you know? Yeah, I get you. Oh, I see it. Alright! Let's see. Quests. Okay, I got it. Got 
got it. That is the thing. Okay. Hearing stuff go boom. Ah! I got murked. Well, let me guess. It blew up and we failed. That was yep. blown up. I thought it was a chest. No, nope, it's a powder keg. No. Oh. Well, I have I I have no idea what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever done this. Not like I know what I'm doing. I'm just using a step first step by step guide. So what now? Do we have to restart? We can restart from checkpoint. How? Mm. But no, what do I do? So what do I do with the keg when I find it? I was just running it to the ship. That's what you're supposed to do, but the problem is you ran towards skeletons, which blew it up. Oh, I didn't know there were any skeletons near me. So what do we do? Well, I said check, you can go to your ship and hit uh, restart from checkpoint if I remember correctly. Alright. All tails, shores of gold. Do you want to sail or dive to location? I leave that to you. Alright, you're gonna have to boat. Sailor's bounty, he goes deep into caves where water sleep. I think we're still on this island. Well, it says, if you really seek, if you really do seek the stone, you'll need to find the key to my workshop here on Blunder Valley. Through the door it opens, lies elsewhere. Sailor's bounty, he goes deep into caves where water sleep. Also, I felt a surprise. I love a surprise for you.
It's the same fucking spot. At least I think it is. Um... It says we need to go to Sailor's Bounty. It, it said Sailor's Bounty when we were here earlier, though, before it failed. Well, I don't- I don't think we really do. do I'm not sure uh -huh. it says Discovery Ridge or Plunder Valley is where is where these riddles will take place there's a sailor's bounty key goes deep into caves where water sleep If I remember correctly, this is where the chest was. Yeah. I wonder if this is back over on... Plunder Valley, though. Because we're currently at Discovery Ridge. And the guide says it'll either keep you at one of these islands or take you to the other one. So what if this riddle is at Plunder uh, Plunder Valley and not Discovery Ridge, which is where we're currently at? Well, it says in order to go to the place of Discovery Ridge, we have to go to Sailor's Bounty. We're at Discovery Ridge. No, sorry, Plunder... It says, if you really seek the stone, you'll need to see, see, get my key to my workshop on Plunder Valley. Sailor's Bounty is where the key is. Isn't... I don't think Sailor's Bounty is an island, is it? I believe so. This image also looks like it's on one of those two islands. Well, there it is, Sailor's Bounty. And there's the there's the chain where it wants us to go. How far away even is this? Oh god, 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 that is at the All top of the, the map. <clears throat> Last night me and Rob got really lucky. Um we were doing when we were doing Athena's stuff, there was a five star Reaper on the ship. Uh, on the map, I mean, and he was all the way over by Mermaid's Hideaway and Sailor's Bounty while we were uh you know, over in sorry, Smuggler's Bay. I think that's what that is. Uh, we were while well, we were over in the Devil's Roar, so we were like on opposite sides of the map together. <laughs> so we were um, we were safe from him. And I'd say that's really lucky. Yeah, no kidding. But I mean, there was like two merchant and right, get that sound a lot.
in addition to the Reaper, there was like another Athena's emissary, like one or two other Athena's emissaries somewhere on the map, and then two people were emissarying for the merchants. Those motherfuckers were not in the Devil's Roar with us, so they were probably keeping Mr. Reaper occupied. Which again is kind of lucky. How's it feel to be back? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> Same shit, different Honestly, day, kind basically. of bored. Why are you bored? Well, it's one of the things where, like, I've done everything at this point. And honestly, unless they add, like, actually new content, <clears throat> there's not much else to this game other than battling to get cosmetics that only you and your friends would admire. Well, I mean, you could do Athena's in the Devil's War with me and Rob, and we can all become ghosts. I'm almost there. Yeah, but it was never my thing. My thing was always going to be the gold curse. But even then, like, there's not much replay value in this game. I think that's why they also made it to where it's hard to do to get anything. Because once you play through enough, it just becomes a constant grind for the same shit. Right. If they added, like, actual good enemies instead of just relying on, PV on PvP, then maybe, just maybe, people would actually care. <clears throat> it just feels like that the devs have gotten lazy. And they're just basically mining out their war chest of cosmetic items. Yeah, more or less. I wish that there was actually value in unlocking stuff. Like, instead of having cosmetic weapons, ha have, like, weapons that have a cool cosmetic and actually do more. Because something... Um, like, for instance... Sorry, go ahead. Something this YouTuber I... Watch occasionally points out no matter where you hit uh, and no matter what weapon you're using, it'll always do the same amount of damage. Some weapons do varying, uh, varying amounts of damage than others, but for the most part, they all equal the same value no matter where you hit, so There's, it's meaningless. And uh, Rob and John uh, both thought, like, they both thought um, that, you know, getting headshots or whatever, and, like, there was critical strikes would in help. this game, yeah. and getting headshots would help, like you just said, and when it doesn't, it doesn't. It's always the same amount of damage, no matter where you hit. Like, you could have a person stand completely still, you pinpoint, shoot him in the head, and the person's still able to kick around. 
And you, what's even more effective is the devs have constantly said how they want to... Wait, hold on, can you check the map to make sure we're going the right way? Uh-huh. The part that annoys me the most is the fact that the devs seem to only care about making sure their game has longevity instead of actual quality. I had a bit more, had a, had a bit more to the left. Uh, we're steering off course. It's just irritating that all they care about is trying to make their game seem there you go, bigger up. than it actually is. Like, for a game that's 108 gigs, I at least want to battle ships from rivaling companies. The way that pirates do. Like, we're all, like this game tries to peddle us some dumbass fairy tale of Oh, pirates battling other pirates on a fucking thing called the Sea of Thieves. When pirates never did that. And let's just ignore that bit of continuity. Let's let's just ignore that. Let's say they did. In what world would pirates carry vast hordes of treasure to the point where a person can easily just come by and just take it all? Not only that, but also give them the tools to be able to board another person's ship by shooting themselves out of a cannon. Be honest, or I, make it to where they can... I wouldn't be that huh? surprised. I wouldn't be that surprised if that was actually a thing, because I mean, the circus did it. I, I wouldn't really think that the, it was something. Okay, I'll even go a step further, or at least making it to where you can retract the, the ladders on the side of your ship. Like, who the hell builds a ladder into the side of their ship if they're having to constantly worry about someone boarding their ship from the water? Not to mention harpoons. You can harpoon other people's ships and walk right on... Well, no, that's a game. Like, no, that one I get, because then you'd be able to travel along the, the rope line. Which is a thing. That one I do get. But the part that I don't get is any anything that could be used against them to strategize to be able to remove the uh, the obstacle or at least put an obstacle in their path is easily overcame in every way like you try to make it so the person can't board your ship in the water you can't do that unless you're standing right there waiting for them on the ship or make it to where the person can't lower your mast because you can like give head, the ability head, to head chain the northwest mast. Like, in my opinion, you should be able to chain the mat, like, the, um, the capstan. Chain it so that way the person just can't press the button and then just start jumping around. Like, do you ever realize how many times that's been happening to people? Like, all a person has to do is board your ship, lower the capstan, and then just start doing the, the jumping dance around your ship. It's just progressively irritating. It is. It feels and it feels like the devs are extremely lazy because of it. Yeah, but you know they keep trying to say. But like, if they give huh? either side PVEers, PVPers, if they give us, if they give us the player base, either side an inch. Uh, the other side complains and says that they're picking favorites. The, the, only, the thing is, it's only fair if you're the side that's chosen. That's why I say fuck both sides and just make the game actually enjoyable. Instead of trying to pander to which side is the highest amount. I think that's why the devs are lazy, because they're... I think they, on some level, care about their community, but, like, not enough to really... Okay, I, I'm, I shit you not. Like Dead by Daylight, the fucking... I watched an interview with, um... With, um, the developers, uh, a long, long time ago. And they said, oh, our community, um, is full of great people and we love it. Is it full of great people, though? Like, do you actually know your community?
And like they de dead the devs at Dead by Daylight said the fucking same shit. They love their community and that they think and they think it's full of great people. Yeah, that's just a default company thing, so they don't get themselves in trouble. Well, there's that, but also it's like do you actually know your community because it's horrible. Alright, you raise the sale. And um And I do, I do just, I just think the developers need to work better at balancing both sides, but I think that it's fucked up that if they give, they give one side an inch, the other complains, like, if PvEers are given more PvE content, and even if it's not even even if it's shit that won't affect the PvPers in any way, shape, or form, it will. They'll still complain because they gave us an inch. Even if it's not benefiting us from fighting against the PvPers, it's still an inch. So they 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 would complain. Yeah, well, that's just how life is. You can't please everyone. No, but like I don't understand. Yeah, that would want to please a bunch of toxic bastards who only care about being a dick. Yeah. Like legit, I hate the argument they try to use. Like the get good argument. How do you get good at a game where the everything is stacked against you? Everything. You have to worry about the Kraken, ghost ships, fucking random phantoms, skeletons. You already have to deal with that shit, and then on top of that I gotta deal with some Joe Blow who just wants to sink my ship for the sake of sinking it, even if there's no benefit to it doing it. Yeah, and the typical argument I hear um, is it's a pirate game. You, I don't think you know anything about pirates if you think that is a valid reason for acting the way you do. Just because you watch Pirates of the Caribbean doesn't mean you know anything about pirates, Sherlock. Are you sure we needed to go here? It said Sailor's Bounty. Taylor's bounty key goes deep into caves where water sleep. There was this uh, video I saw today where a guy was giving a tip on how to quote-unquote prevent people from, um... Climbing up your ladder. Yeah, these kids right here, dude. Uh, I fell in them and died. But, um... I saw this video today of a guy arguing... Well, not really arguing, but like... Giving a case of how to, um, keep, uh, enemy players off your ship. And, ow. Are you able to get me? Hold on. And it was the stupidest fucking, um, thing I'd ever heard. You wanna know what his idea for getting shit off? Nope, can't do it. Keeping people off of your ship was? I'm dead. Hmm. So his genius idea for keeping people off your ship was... Oh! 
take loot and stack it around the ladder. It'll make it harder for them to get up and they won't see you immediately. So they won't know where you're at. Just stack it around the sides. Wow! Um, I'm, wow, you mean the thing that they could just harpoon all the loot off your ship? That, that, and I'm like, I'm waiting for the con to this. And he demonstrated that you can still easily get up onto the ship. No, more like he's trying to start a thing where he was... More like... It seems like he was trying to give people the idea that this would work. As a way of saying, here, you're making it easy for people to steal your loot. He's basically being a troll. Nah, he posts genuine... He, he posts genuine advice. He thought of this thinking it'd be good advice. He's unintentionally trolling, but he's still trolling. Ooh. Pretty. So what are we doing? Well... Just looking around for a second. That's where we came. This place is cool, though. Oh, I found another tunnel. Yeah, this is the way we're supposed to go. Ow! Dude, either back up. I was okay. By the time I realized I was alive, it was too late. Guy takes his uh, trapping business very seriously. No kidding. Matter, he just really likes his privacy. I found one of the journals. Nice. Making my point. Where's this journal at? Hold on. Read making my point. I found it. This guy had quite the hobo set up, didn't he? Ah, oh, damn. We forgot to bring the fucking barrel. We needed the barrel. Yeah, we we need the barrel. That's oh, we might have to abandon it. Well, dude, we might have to abandon the quest, and then... Nah, fuck it. There we go. Easy ship. <laughs> Be right back.
Ghost Galleon. Well, everybody playing the waiting game, the waiting game, the waiting game. Everybody playing the waiting game all night long. The waiting game, the waiting game, the waiting game, the waiting game. That's what's making that fucking noise. It's the mermaid gym. Give me the gym.
This is expected. <laughs> Two red ones. Fuck. Well, I don't like that. Shark me. Wonder if Volt's still on the ferry. Curious as to where the hell he is.
There it is. <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna call it here, and, uh, yeah, might be back with another stream slash video laters, um, where we actually finish this bitch, I don't know, Volt, uh, Well, it's a very busy family guy, so disappears a lot to go help his mom, his nieces and nephews, and nieces, niece and nephew, and then his sister, so yeah. Who knows where he disappeared to? But until the next one, uh, whether it be Sea of Thieves, Shadows of Mordor, even Deceit 2, I've heard that, uh... It's not as toxic as it used to be when uh, we played it, so. Or Elder Scrolls Online. I should really get back into that. Um, so, until the next one. Uh, bye!